Now, a national child labor report in Tanzania shows that the rate of child labor has decreased but not significantly. Now, the report shows a 2% drop from 30 to 28% since 2007. Children in rural areas are the most affected because they are employed in sectors such as mining, agriculture, and fishing. From Dar es Salaam, the BBC's Tulanana Bohela reports. This is Kiwohede, a rescue center for children in Dar es Salaam. Many here were forced to work long hours with little or no pay. Hasia, not her real name, was one of those children. She was brought to Dar es Salaam after her father died to live with her aunt. She says as soon as she arrived, she was forced to be a house worker. When I asked my boss for food, she would say, go and make money to buy your own food. So sometimes I would not eat from morning till evening. They would call me a street rat and give me their food crumbs after they ate. I would sleep at 12 midnight and start my days at 3 in the morning. I had no time to rest. The report released by the National Bureau of Statistics indicate a slight hope for the future of child welfare in the country. But the sectors of mining, agriculture and fishing show a high rate of 92% of employing children, with the most of them being affected are in the rural areas. But in urban areas like Dar es Salaam, poverty and a lack of education force families in rural areas to send their children to cities to earn money. The Kiwohede Center supervisors say the number of children forced to work under age can only be dealt with by creating national awareness on children's rights. But activists say more needs to be done. We need to have social welfare everywhere, but then they are not found everywhere because they are the ones who can help to give out the education to the community. Like They have to know how to take care of the children, how to, to, to protect them against you know, people and themselves also but also uh, we have to create awareness to the children themselves. One of the ways hope to make a difference is free primary and secondary school education. It's a slow process, but there is still hope that more Tanzanian children will be able to shift from the field to the classroom. Tulanana Bohela, BBC News, 